what up? I got five more minutes of math for you. So let's do it. More geometry, more transformations, but this one, reflection, uh-huh. So we're gonna take this triangle, we're gonna flip it. It's almost like the triangle is looking at itself in the mirror. Uh-huh. Now there's a couple of different types of reflections. So this particular video, we're gonna focus on these types. Yes, we're gonna talk about reflecting across the axes, either the X or the Y, or any horizontal or vertical line for that matter. Now, whenever I'm reflecting across a line, the first thing I like to do is highlight my line on here. So let's say we were reflecting this triangle across the Y axis. Let's highlight the Y axis. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, reflecting this across that highlighted red squiggly line, which is the Y axis. Now, if this triangle is looking at this axis like a mirror, wouldn't this reflection be on the other side of the mirror and reversed? So when you're looking in a mirror, your image in that mirror is just as far behind the mirror as you are in front of it, right? Next time you take a look in the mirror, look at your feet. Your feet, the same distance your feet are from the mirror is the same distance your reflection's feet are from the mirror. Same with these points. What I mean by that is this. If this B happens to be Let's say one space away from this mirror. Guess how far away its reflection is going to be? One space. Yeah. This distance better be exactly the same as this distance. Otherwise, it's not a reflection. Yeah. I'm going to do that same thing for point C. This point C, which is this far away from the mirror, its reflection better be that far away from the mirror also. Same with this point A. Notice how point A is a longer distance away from the mirror. So guess what? This distance better be exactly the same as this distance right here. That's exactly right. So if you have trouble reflecting entire shapes, just reflect one point at a time and connect the dots. Just like that. Exactly like that. Now, if I wanted to, I can take this triangle and reflect it across the y-axis, right? It would probably look like this. Ooh, okay, I know there's a little bit to unpack here, but let's start talking about it, right? So what I did was I took my red triangle now, and now I'm reflecting my red triangle across the x-axis. I don't know if I said x before, I might have said y, but now we're reflecting across the x-axis. Yeah, notice I have my horizontal x-axis highlighted. Now I'm going to take this and reflect it across. So whatever used to be above this axis will now be below and remember those distances we talked about here's the distance from c prime to the mirror it better be the same distance on the other side of the mirror now we haven't talked about this route but yet but when i change or transform c prime it turns into c double prime yeah and every time you change you add an apostrophe you add a prime exactly right so a got reflected into i mean a prime got reflected into a double prime and then notice B prime is very far from the mirror. So B double prime when I'm reflecting better be that same distance from the mirror. Yeah, let's connect my dots. Good. So these are two types of reflections. These are two types of reflections. This reflects across the Y axis to this triangle. So ABC turns into A prime, B prime, C prime. And then I can reflect this if I wanted to across the x-axis, absolutely. And remember, if you're changing primes, they change into double primes, exactly right. Now, the axes are not the only things that I can reflect across. I can reflect across other horizontal and vertical lines like this. Ooh, so this is the vertical line with the equation x equals negative one. Now, this isn't the y-axis, but it's still a vertical line. So what that means is this reflection will still show up on the other side of my mirror. And the distance rule stays the same. How many spaces is B from this mirror? I'm going to repeat that same number of spaces on the other side of the mirror, no matter where the mirror is. Exactly right. So B prime will probably be right here. Yeah. This space, we'll say it's one space. If B is one space from the mirror, then it's reflection B prime better be one space also. Yeah. Same for C. Yeah. If C is one space away, C prime better be one space away. Same for A. Now, A 
Looks like it might be three spaces away. So A prime better be three spaces away. Connect the dots. Yes. And now I have my reflection across this vertical line. Uh huh. Now, let me show you one more thing. Ooh. Okay, we got the horizontal line with the equation y equals 3, but it looks like my line or my mirror is going through my original shape. We can still reflect it. Yeah. Think about this. These two points that started out below the mirror, guess where they're going to end up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. These two points that started below the mirror, when they get reflected, they're going to show up above the mirror. Now, this point right here used to be above the mirror, but when it's reflection... Is going to be below the mirror. Now, when your mirror goes through your shape, the reflection is going to overlap. It's going to look like this. Yes, exactly right. And notice this is a reflection of the original. Uh huh. Now, there are other types of reflections to talk about. So, I'm going to see you at the next video. Till then, bye guys.